eye. So today I'm going to try and recreate a um, technique that I first saw in a stamping magazine way back in the early 2000s, I think it was 2004, and um, I made some panels up back then and tucked them away, found them a few months ago, um, and tried to recreate the panel from memory and could not, for the life of me, work out how I did it. So I knew it was from a stamping magazine that my mother owned, so um, I went to visit her a couple of times and her and I spent several hours going through all the magazines page by page trying to find this technique, which eventually I found in an Australian paper crafts magazine. And it uses uh, metallic acrylic paint and different shades of uh, other acrylic paint. And I thought that I would try and recreate it using supplies that I've got on hand, which of course are distress paints. So I started with just a sheet of black cardstock. And um, this layer here which I've, I've done already just to give it time to dry, is actually some brushed pewter distress paint. And what I did was I dabbed it across the top of the panel, took an old credit card type thing, and then scraped it at quite an angle down the panel. Now, um, you may need to put a little bit more sort of halfway, two thirds of the way down to get it to fill the whole panel, but that's what you do. So when you do that, you then um, leave it to dry or you can use your, your heat tool. Um, I'm quite impatient and generally just use my heat tool. Uh, but then you, once that's dry, you're ready for the second layer. And the second layer is the lightest of your acrylic paints, which in this case is Broken China. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing with broken china as I did with the brush pewter. So I'm going to lay a thin layer across the top, get my credit card, and start swiping it down that page. Now I'm going to pick some of this up and try and fill in the rest of that panel. And that is good enough for me. So I wipe off the credit card and then the next step is while it's still wet is you spritz it with water. So I'm just using a plain old water bottle. You can use your distress sprayer bottle if you want. Um, gave it about six spritzes there. I'm going to leave it to settle into that paint for a uh, minute or two um, and it's going to as we know with distress ink it's going to wick away that color um, once you think you've left it on there for long enough and it's purely trial and error you can then take your credit card again and we're going to swipe the water away so rather than dabbing it up with a paper towel um, which leaves the water splats on the card we are actually going to swipe it away so, and as you swipe it, you can see the mottled effect that you're left with, which is just gorgeous. So that's the first layer. Clean up. It's quite a messy technique, this. Um, I'm just going to speed things up a bit and blast it with my heat gun. Next layer, we are going to use some faded jeans. So again, give it a good shake. Put a thin swipe across the top. Grab your credit card, swipe down. Turn off your credit card, get your water sprayer, I don't know why I shook that, get a spritz, 
wait for a few seconds. Grab your credit card and pull that water away. So you can see we're starting to get some variations in colour. I'll dry that off. layer I'm going to use blueprint sketch such a vibrant color this it's beautiful off the old credit card, get out the water bottle, one more, leave that to soak in for a sec. Dry that off. And for the last layer, I will use chipped sapphire. Beautiful, beautiful dark, dark blue. You can see that as you're scraping down, it's pretty much covering up the previous colours. But the secret is spritzing it with that water. So you can move that colour away and see what's underneath. See what we get. Just gorgeous. Okay. Dry that off. And then we have a panel that we can use. There we go. So from here you can um, use it as it is, uh, like a pattern paper. You can die cut it. You can stamp over it. Um, I have a couple of samples. This is this one here. Rather than scraping the water away, I actually dabbed it away with a paper towel, so you can still see those splotches there and then I stamped over it with the uh, text stamp from the Papillon set by Tim Holtz using Chip Sapphire Distress Ink. Um, just now I can use that um, as, a, as a 
as a background or even as the feature itself on a on a card uh, this one here I actually used uh, this gold Lumiere metallic acrylic paint as the base again I dabbed it off rather than scraped it off and you can clearly see the difference um, you see far more of the uh, layers underneath when you scrape that water away rather than dabbing it um, on top of this I stamped with the this splatter stamp by Tim Holtz um, again using chip sapphire ink so I'm going to keep having a wee play um, see what I come up with um, I've got a few other colors here that I wouldn't mind experimenting with but it is quite addictive it's fun it's easy and if you have distress paints in the house or any acrylic paints um, and just some basic um, black cardstock you can have a go so thanks very much catch you next time